Phil's on. Small and mean. He says he's small and mean, but I don't know. It looks pretty big with, <laughs> with a drop shot rod. But uh, freaking craziness out here, man. Same to bass fishing. This is like being in a school of spotted bass going crazy. These fish are a lot meaner, I guess. I want to see what happens if you get like a 30, 40 pounder on that NRX. I think you can handle it. Phil, what's the matter? Own it. Oh, Farmer Phil. Mm. Oh, that forearm is done. Tony, turn to the right a little bit. All that hard work. Smooth drag, yeah. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, just like a bat, yeah. Daniel's on, Pat's trying to get on. Everybody needs to have a shot at the uh, 902 with the Stella. Daniel's working the Stella though. The team experience, it's pretty fun. Never thought I'd be in Kauai offshore with bass gear. But you never know about Tackle Warehouse. We had to overcome it. Adversity yesterday. So we adapted, overcame, and improvised. Um, you can kind of see inside of us where you guys tried the freshwater fish yesterday up in Wailua. Uh, our mountain, Mount Waiale Ale, the mountain you can see kind of up in the clouds up there. It's only visible, I'd say, maybe 20 to 30 times throughout the whole year. The peak is, anyway. Um, it's not that high, uh, under 6,000 feet high. You know, we get 350 to 400 inches of rain every year. It's also the wettest spot on our island. And just so happened the river these guys tried to fish it is the base of that, that mountain. So yeah, you guys are fortunate to get up as far as they did before the water really started rolling down off the mountain. So the island itself is the oldest in the Hawaiian island chain. Uh, really small island population, not even maybe 70,000 max. Nice form. Oh, that's a big fish right there. Yeah? Throw some more chum. Yeah, I'm throwing chum for me. That's chum. Doing the dirty work. What are those? Oh, they're amberjacks. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Get like a big amberjack here? Yeah, that's what you see on the surface right there. Do you want to jump in and check them out? No. Got one. Got one? There's on. There's on. Corrado. It's like a flipping rod, man. 956. I got a little baby. Got a little baby. More of my style, though. 956 IMX. Get in here. Your boat swing those kind. Handle them. No problem. 
That's the life of a typical bass fisherman, professional. You know, people bait your hooks, take your fish off. I don't want to get smelly. So, yeah, and then I'm just right back to fishing. I mean, he has to clean up the blood, do his minion work, and uh, I'm about already back in, catch another one. I think I got bit on the fall. Picture that. <laughs> hey Ross, you missed a spot over there. You might want to. <laughs> Alright guys, that's a wrap man. We've had uh, quite the experience here on Kauai. You know, uh, you gotta thank our guides. You know, Ross came along with us, Cody. Put us on some really good fish. It was a lot of fun. I learned a lot. I mean, I'm, I'm a rookie at this kind of stuff, but uh, put the gear and equipment to the test. We didn't break anything. We didn't get spooled. Um, you know, nothing really crazy happened that I was. We were all kind of afraid of, but it was an awesome time, man. Caught, caught my first first tucanary, uh, my first yellowfin ever. Uh, caught a largemouth bass. Actually punched a largemouth bass on my 956. FPR IMX rod, got some great, you know, fish catches on the Conquest and the uh, 4000 Stella. What a trip! I mean, can't say enough. Make sure and like, comment, and share on this vlog for your chance for additional entries for the gear giveaway. We'll see you guys next time. All this gear, somebody is gonna win. All you need to do is go to the Tackle Warehouse Facebook page and click on the gear giveaway tab on the left side of the page. It's a Stecky Craw, man. They finally brought that bait back. Always is one of my favorites, jig trailer. That's why I got the Cali Poppin' Frog. You know, and I got it teamed up on the old school light and tough Team Diwa Frog Rod.